the service contract screen in SAP Business One is a great way to specify, view, and modify the details of a service contract or warranty for a particular business partner, item group, or item. Warranties can be automatically created for items when an AR invoice or delivery document is created. The item must be managed by serial numbers and contain a value in the warranty template field on the item master record. To access the service contract screen, navigate to Service, Service Contract. This will display the service contract screen already in find mode. The first field in the header is where you can select which type of service contract you are dealing with. This will decide which business partners can be selected for the service contract. In the business partner code field, you can select either a customer or a vendor depending upon if you have selected a sales or purchasing type service contract. Once you select a business partner, the business partner name, default contact person, and their telephone number will populate in the screen. The description field is where you can assign a descriptive name to the service contract or warranty. Moving on to the contract number, it will be the numbering convention for the service contracts and it will specify which service contract you are currently on. In the start date field is where you can specify when the contract begins and in the end date field is where you can specify when the contract expires. If the contract or warranty is terminated between the start and end date, you can enter when the contract was terminated in the termination date field. Once a contract is terminated, all the fields on the contract can no longer be changed and will be grayed out to indicate that they are for display only. Now let's take a look at the contents under the general tab. In the service type dropdown, you can select if your service contract is either a warranty or regular contract. A warranty contract can be created automatically when an AR invoice or delivery document is added for an item with serial number management, whereas regular contracts are only created manually. In order for a warranty contract to be created automatically, you must specify a warranty template on the item master record for the item so the warranty is created automatically. Under the contract type dropdown, you can select either business partner, item group, or serial number. When business partner is selected, it will cover all the items that you either sell to a customer or buy from a vendor. When item group is selected, the contract will cover items in a specific item group. If item group is selected, you will need to specify the item group on the items tab. Finally, when serial number is selected, the contract will cover the items with a specific serial number. You will need to specify the serial numbers for the items on the items tab. Moving on to the template field, you can select an existing contract template instead of entering in all the values on the service contract screen. If you would like to create a new contract template, you can do so by selecting the new button at the bottom of the contract template screen and enter in the desired information for the new template. In the response time field is where you can specify the maximum amount of time allowed for a user to respond to the service call. The resolution time field is where you can specify the maximum amount of time allowed for the service issue to be resolved. Over in the status field dropdown will be the status option of approved, on hold, draft, and terminated. When the status is set to approved, the customer is entitled to receive service according to the contract, or we are entitled to receive service from the vendor according to the contract. When the status is set to on hold, the contract is set to inactive. If the status is set to draft, then the contract has not been approved. This is the default status for all new user-created service contracts. Finally, the terminated status indicates that the contract has been terminated. If the status is set to either on hold, draft, or terminated, then the customer is not entitled to receive service if the service contract type is set to sales or our company is not entitled to receive service if the service contract type is set to purchasing. In the Handled By dropdown will be where you can select which user is responsible for the service contract or warranty. The Renewal checkbox allows you to renew an expired service contract. Next, in the Reminder field is where you can specify the number of days, weeks, or months for an alert to appear prior to the termination of the service contract. This field will only be active after you select the Renewal Contract checkbox. 
The Active Items field will display values only for serial number service type contracts. It will display all the active items that are associated with the service contract. In order for an item to be active, it must not have reached its end date on the Items tab and must not have a termination date associated with it. You can enter in any additional information about the service contract or warranty in the Remarks field. Over in the Contract Template Remarks field is where any remarks that have been set up on the contract template will appear. Now let's move on to the Items tab. This tab will only be used when the contract type is set to either item group or serial numbers. If you have the contract type set to item group, then you will be able to select item groups in this tab. In the item group field is where you can select the specific item group that pertains to the service contract. The start and end date will automatically populate with the information entered in the header. They can be modified on an individual item group basis. If an item group is terminated prior to the end date, on the tab you can specify a termination date under the termination date column. When the contract type is set to serial numbers, you will be able to select specific items on the items tab. In the item number field is where you can select an item for the service contract or warranty. The item description of the item will populate automatically once the item number has been selected. You can also specify the specific manufacturer serial number or serial number for the item in this tab. Just like with the item groups, the start and end date will populate automatically with the dates entered in the header. You also have the ability to change these dates on a per item basis. If an item is no longer applicable to the service contract or warranty, you can specify a date in the termination date column. Now let's take a look at the coverage tab. Here is where you can specify the dates and time of when services provided or received. Under the Include section, you can select if the parts, labor, or travel will be included in the service contract or warranty. You can check the Including Holidays checkbox to indicate that work on holidays is included with the contract. Next, on the Attachments tab, is where you can attach any documents or files to the service contract by using the Browse button. Moving on to the Service Calls tab, if a service call is associated with one of the items on the service contract or warranty, it will appear under the Service Calls tab. Finally, on the Recurring Transactions tab, will be any recurring transactions that are created in your system with either the item, item group, or business partner associated with the transactions. The Service Contract and Warranties functionality in SAP Business One is great for keeping track of products that may need service in the future. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.